YOLO, ladies and gentlemen, it's Topher Deluxe, and today we're actually going to be playing some Call of Duty. Mm, the new DLC dropped. I actually got a chance to play it. Now, my internet connection didn't get all that much better, but it did get a little bit better, allowing me to play a few games without lagging out. Um, there was a couple questionable issues <laughs> in this game, and uh, one of them has been pointed out. But this, edit, this video actually had to be edited up and chopped up a little bit, because... I'm rusty, bro. I'm like really rusty. Like, <laughs> you see here, my, my aim's okay, and I, I'm actually doing a lot better. As I say that, I'm squirreling all over the wall right there. Nice. Um, I do okay. I do actually a lot better than I thought I would coming back from Borderlands to COD. Because when I play a game, it's usually like I play just that game. Like that's the only game I play. And I play it religiously until I am a uh, super beast at it or until I can uh, you know dream about it until I go to sleep at night and I'm thinking about picking up legendary items um, but either way this is one of the new maps the new DLC maps come, that came out on a uh, black ops and I really really like this map it's kind of a because of the way that it's designed it kind of feels like a rushers map it feels like every you know if you can rush and you can run and gun and jump around and, and uh, deal with situations as they come up if you could do that man this map is your map you could just tear them up and that's what I did. I've got a couple. I actually had another gameplay that I was going to upload, but I got this one. It was a little bit better. Uh, nothing too fancy. I don't get no dogs or swarm or nothing like that. <laughs> I do end up getting stabbed pretty uh, pretty, pretty good right here. This is an embarrassment. Face palm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get. <laughs> you can't do that much on this. Uh, ghosty ghost ghost guys will kill you. But there's a lot of uh, back alleyways and a lot of looping areas, so... This is probably one of my favorite maps that they've come out with on DLC. I really like it. I've only gotten a chance to put in a couple hours because me and my wife, we also went out and got the uh, um, Tiny Tina Assault on Dragon Keep DLC for the um, Black Ops, or not Black Ops, but Borderlands 2. Sorry, that was just a total fail moment there. But look at this one little motherfucker. Two little motherfucker. <laughs> Where are they at? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Three little ninjas over there trying to hide. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, we got that DLC for Borderlands 2. And me and her have kind of been playing that. We put about three or four hours into it last night. Um, just trying to get through the main storyline of it. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a little. it seems a little repetitive as far as like the scenery. It doesn't seem like it's changing very much. But... Nice C4, <laughs> but either way, the uh, the game, the, the actual storyline and stuff like that is pretty freaking funny. I think Tina, Tiny Tina, is probably one of my favorite characters in the game, and her match with the uh, Brick, who's just about as smart as one, and uh, Lilith, who's <laughs> Lilith and Mordecai are just kind of suffering through it. But it's been pretty fun, and but that's not what I'm really talking about on this. I'll make another video about that DLC. But this Call of Duty stuff, uh, the the first couple ones, I really, really, really liked uh, the first couple of these maps. There's two of them. Like, the Stadium remake is really good. This one is really, really good. Uh, the other two, I'm kind of mediocre about. I'm not too fond, not too great, not too bad. You know, the pods is okay. Um, it seems to be a little repetitive because there's only a few different ways you can go through the map. And you kind of end up getting stuck. Uh, you get stuck in the same gunfights over and over and over again. But... So this one's not too bad. I really like it. The actual the zombies one, which I played the zombies. I haven't. I'm not a. I used to be a real big zombie guy. I used to be like really like zombies was what I did, homie. It was like my shiz. It's actually what got me back into first person shooters. I got into it at Halo 2, got back out of it, and then zombies is what pulled me back in. And this new zombies was actually pretty fun. Like it was the first one where I was like super stoked in order for me to um, play solo, which was fun, and I'll put some footage up of that eventually, but see, look, watch this, watch this, not this guy, but the next guy they get in a fight with, count the bullets, I get like five bullets on this guy, and I still lose the gunfight, I don't know if it's just me counting wrong or whatever, but I tried to count, and uh, it just didn't seem to work, but I want that skill, what the fuck? <laughs> I wish, man. I can't do that with a sniper rifle. I'm like hard scoping on him. I can't even shoot him with an assault rifle at point blank range. <laughs> this dude just looks at me and I die. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, the the new the new zombie thing is pretty cool. I haven't really gotten a chance to look up on it on the past couple of days just to see if they're uh, what people have unlocked with the Easter egg and stuff like that. And I kind of gathered the first time I played it that you have to uh, stand on those little generators to get it going and stuff like that, and then that was cool. But uh, almost throw. I've never gotten past like 10 or so by myself. I haven't really gotten a chance to try very much. Tiny Tina's got me distracted. But 
I don't know why I keep talking and rambling about everything besides this game. This gameplay, uh, this is just a regular traditional hard point. This is my hard point class. Is what I go to. It's got a uh, attack insert because of the hard point moving around the map. I want to try and anchor my spawn for my team towards the hard point so that we spawn closer to it. The other team has to work harder to get towards it. Um, the AN-94, this was the second time I played this map. So the AN-94 I figured would be a good medium and long range and even close range when necessary gun. Um, if you can hear this dude, this fucking weird Spanish guy in the background was going, I'm, uh, I don't know if he just said it there. I've got it muted. <laughs> he was saying all this weird stuff in Spanish the entire fucking game. You'll probably go, if you look back and listen to it, you probably going to pick it out. But... Anyways, that's pretty much all I got to say for this one. This is a quick Call of Duty video. Just giving my old uh, shout-outs and I take the scoreboard off. Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Time for the Lux, I'm out.